Welcome back. On Wednesday night, the Soap Lake City Council granted a special event permit for the third annual Lava Lamp Regatta this weekend. Northwest Jet Sports Association President Roger Harnack said jet ski races are scheduled to begin practice at 8 a.m. on Saturday morning. Racing begins at 11.30 a.m. and runs until 3.30 p.m. on Saturday and Sunday. The council voted unanimously to approve the permit. The permit allows racers to park their campers at the city-owned RV park on State Route 17 for $20 a night. Racers who want to tent camp for, the, for free will be allowed to use the Smokayam Park. Several master keys for Lakeview Elementary School in Moses Lake were stolen Tuesday night after someone broke into the building. Lakeview and Garden Heights Elementary School have been targets for theft and vandalism. At Lakeview, officers found a broken window on the east door to the main walkway of the school. It's believed the suspect was able to open the door from the inside after breaking the window. The suspect reportedly broke another window inside that led into the administrative office and stole five master keys, one of which was later found outside of the building on the sidewalk. Both schools are about a mile apart and have been hit by attempted break-ins in the last three weeks. Several windows were previously broken at Lakeview and at least 14 have been broken at Garden Heights. Police stated neither school currently has security cameras installed. Anyone with information is asked to contact the Moses Lake Police at 509-764-3887. A Moses Lake man is going to jail after helping to attack a couple outside of a Baseline Road home in December. Laddie Allen Avery, a 20-year-old Moses Lake man, pleaded guilty in Grant County Superior Court to residential burglary and assault in the fourth degree. He was sentenced to five months in jail. Alan Avery and a friend went to his ex-girlfriend's house and started harassing her from outside. She came out and was reportedly hit in the face by a pipe by Alan Avery's friend during an argument. Her current boyfriend came out to stop him and Alan Avery attacked the boyfriend. The fighting stopped when a woman said she called police. Back to school is just around the corner. Preparing your students for the new year takes more than just buying supplies and new clothes. All school districts require students to be vaccinated for certain illnesses. How can you keep up on your child's inoculations? Reporter Martha Shade has the answer. Back to school is always a time for excitement, but there's no need to add drama by not having the right vaccines for your child. It can get pretty complicated. In order to help parents figure out what shots are appropriate for certain age groups, the Centers for Disease Control has designed a website. It provides a handy printable list of vaccines each child should have. For youngsters up to six years, the list is pretty lengthy. From the mumps and measles vaccine to the flu shot, the inoculation schedule gets to be pretty confusing. This list can help. When children become preteens and teenagers, the HPV vaccine, meningitis vaccine, and a tetanus shot are essential. But there are other recommended vaccines for this age group. The CDC has it all organized. And for young men and women over the age of 19 going off to college requires certain vaccines such as the meningitis shot, HPV vaccine, and hepatitis A and B vaccines. There's a complete list on the website that even adults can use. The CDC urges everyone to try to stick to these vaccine schedules in order to keep certain illnesses under control in the U.S. For today's Health Minute, I'm Martha Shade. That's going to do it for us here at iFiber One News. We want to thank you for watching, and we'll see you again tomorrow.